It was a cold, dark world of wretched scum and villainy. And you can be accused of theft, robbery, and plagiarism simply for covering the same game as someone else. Today, I admit guilty to that supposed crime. And fuck you all, because this is an Edmund McMillan game. I'm not missing out on this game just because Jacksepticeye got there before me. Enter a name to reveal their personal crime history and expose them for the monster they really are. Well, I see no reason not to search any other name but this one. Threadbare Tomato, 49, 6 foot 1, 326 pounds, and he was charged with peeping at a family of squirrels and sentenced to a thousand years in the border party. You know, I never actually thought there'd be a, a, a relatively accurate statement to Dear Old Tomato, but fuck me, barring that picture, that is spot on. And that being said, I, I have the power of editing, so fuck it. Picture fixed. Look at that shit. You couldn't have got that any more right. Although I don't think it's going to be to be 49 to be accused of that crime. I think he did not look like me. Okay, dear, you're... Let's just go over this. I think he did not look like me. You are a female with two lumps and an indentation. Pretty fucking sure none of them look like you. I'm positive he looked he has money. I... I'm positive... Their typo right there. I'm just gonna be the, the racist and pick the black guy and hope for the best. Beautiful. Come get some? If by some you mean your fucking char grilled ashes, then by all means, but other than that, I fail to see why those would be your last words. I mean, if you're gonna quote Duke Nukem, at least use something that makes sense. I'm here to get zapped and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. And you know, I pull the lever and then zap. That's, that would have worked. The come get some shit? Stupid. Oh, and um, local dogs can speak. Jason! Bigot Barney! Oh, he'll be ecstatic to hear who I just killed. That's certainly not edging on the wrong side of the fence. That's, uh, I'm painting myself on the wrong side of history. I think he looked like someone I'd hate. Looking for the black man? I'm positive he looked like Moneybags Mahoney. But... Mon Moneybags? Mahoney. I don't know the last one, but I don't know the first one. This is spiraling out of control real quick. This is Zoidberg having an allergic reaction with a sperm glued to his face. I just wanted to point that out. Just so, just so we're completely clear. And apparently I can release them. <laughs> and he bolted. Well... There is now a Zoidberg out in the wild. And oh, is that a monocle? Is that the Moneybags comment? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's this guy. I mean, either this guy's a bigot, he's somebody he'd hate. I'm sure I didn't make a mistake with this one. Did I do that? The fuck are you, Urkel? Negative Nancy? You say on a Polaroid? No. That's negative Nancy. Edmund, get your shit together. Despicable Dolph. And with that moustache, I don't really think any man needs that much of an imagination to see where you originated from. He definitely did not look pale. Oh shit, I wanted to kill Hitler. M misunderstood, Mick? I'm, I'm sorry, going off of the colour of his skin, I think it was misdiagnosed, Mick. <laughs> Who the fuck prescribed this man? An overdosage of Mario 1-ups. That guy's got more green than grass. Well, I don't really care if this isn't even the right guy. This is Hitler. He's, he's, he's going to die. Well, my boy, I hope you're mine comfortable. <laughs> Hitler wasn't guilty. What a fucking message you just sent. <laughs> oh, no. No, that's, uh... <laughs> I think that one moment alone just completely made the two pounds I spent on this infinitely worth it. I don't feel like I've spent enough. Dim Dan. Is this Dan Grushy? Excuse- Fishy Philip? Um... AI. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I... Hmm... Edmund! <laughs> Your contempt for a certain prick is shining through. Excuse me a moment. I'm going to be biased and assume that man to be guilty. Well, Phil, any, any last words? If ever there were a point in your life, right now would be the perfect moment to confess to your crimes. Now this is a story all about how Innocent man executed. Bollocks.
He definitely did not look light. I'm sorry, I thought the bigot was after the old lady. Poor? Like Guppy's poor? Or just because of your accent? He definitely did not look like my pa. Like your, your father, is that it? I don't know if, oh, I, this, I'm legitimately trying to speculate what the fuck that means. Possibly looked like Moneybags Mahoney, and I think he looked like a giant. None of these motherfuckers are particularly short right about now. I'm positive he looked like me? Who in the blue fucking soggy bollocks looks like you in this lineup? Oh, it's Wrinkled Warren. I mean, he doesn't look like you, but the description's apt. There you go. Now you're making sense. Why didn't you just say he looked like he was a wrinkled fucking prune? This man is about to die with a smile on his face. I'm sorry, did we put the electric thing in the wrong place? I'm positive he looked like somebody I'd hate. And it's immediately a black man. I'm a monster just as much as you for immediately going to, like... Definitely did not look like a freak. Why the fuck do we have the mutants of... We have the fucking Fallout crew of super mutants, gulls, and fucking death claws up here. Well, if he doesn't look dark, and he doesn't look tiny, it comes between this giant fucking gerbil-looking motherfucker and Smurf McGee over there. I don't want to believe a Smurf's guilty of anything other than being in terrible movies. We're gonna go with this guy. Please. On my honour as a man that apparently his entire job is just looking at people and saying, kill that one. Let this be right. Disgusting. I did it! Hey! There we go. It's Bandage Girl! Oh, I need to kill you. I don't even care. I need- I'm- you're going to die. I don't even care what this man says. I'm gonna listen to what he has to say, and then just to fucking spite him, I'm gonna pick you anyway. He. He. He? He. Well, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind I'm picking the wrong person, but fuck it, you're dying. I would ask you if you have any final words, but I'm afraid I've got some for you. Seeing as this is the death sentence, and you have no means of defense, and we all know that you're innocent, it's a damn shame that we banned your aid. Innocent man? Man? Okay, I'm just saying here, Edmund. Women can commit crimes too, dude. It's okay to put a woman in the electric chair. And that was most certainly a female. You should know. You created her. I'm positive he looked like my kind of guy? What the fuck's your kind of guy? You look like somebody mixed the fucking devil with the fetus in the sink from PT. I don't even mean that as an insult, to be perfectly honest with you. I think that's kind of cool. Oh, it'd probably be, um... The guy with the almost kind of devil cape behind him? And the... And the cleaver in his head? It was a shame you didn't mention something around intelligence. Because I can most certainly say that right now, he's pretty fucking clever. And by the way, his name is Hogan. And he's black. Recent events make that even funnier than it should be. We're about to electrocute a man with a cleaver in his head. I imagine this is going to go horribly for everybody. Well, that's a terrible Innocent man executed! Fucking soggy bollocks! Cheesy Charlie! You remind me of something, or someone, and I don't know what it is, but I'm going to kill you. Guess what? You killed the wrong guy. Oh, yep, there you go. Achievement. I don't really know what he was, but he just looked out of place. Huh. I made the right decision, making the wrong decision. Whoa. I'm sorry, that's a fucking werewolf. We're in none of this shit. We're not having another goddamn Order 1886. Through all my searches, through all of my failed lineups, after multiple prison sentences, releases, paroles, and fucking bail bonds, I still somehow find myself with this job, staring down at a child gone through hell and high water, only to be standing being charged and accused of a crime he could not have committed. But with my murderous ways and my... My need to see that little box pop up saying I did something special, I just... I need to see you die! My boy, I'm sorry. This will be the finding of Isaac not being guilty. I'm afraid for you, there is no rebirth. And with that, the episode has come to a close. I don't usually do reviews or whatever, but this is a specifically special game. I mean, it's from Edmund McMillan. I mean, it's not especially a, a grandiose game. It's rather small, simplistic, and not too... 
amazing in terms of it being, you know, this is the guy that made Bind the Lies against Super Fucking Meat Boy. This is most certainly a bite-sized game, but for what it is, for two bounds, it's not bad. It could certainly be better, it could certainly be a little bit more... I don't know... meaty. Filled in. But overall, for something to fuck around with, this is pretty goddamn good. And I feel like this would be more apt to a mobile game for you to just fuck around with, you know, as something to- it's a toilet game. It's pretty goddamn good for that. Unfortunately, I, I don't think it's on mobile at the moment, so if, if ever it comes to that, buy it. It's worth it for that. <laughs> if you're expecting a full game with a uh, rather large catalogue of content, rather large- rather large catalogue of content, you're not gonna find it here. That's not a knock, it's not a complaint, it's just the way it is. I thought I absolutely fucking loved the time that I spent playing it, simply for the jokes I got to make, and the nice little easter eggs. I mean, fuck me. They were <laughs> I mean, you gotta have Bion and Isaac characters. It makes sense. You even have a Phil Fish reference, because Edmund doesn't quite like that man. Fair enough. But fucking Hitler? And I think Charles Manson too? <laughs> Credit to you. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. But anyway, that... Bullshit mini-review aside, because, hey, I figured this was a game special enough to warrant at least me speaking about the quality of it, because it's an interesting beast. That aside, uh, the episode's over, and I'd like to think that you did indeed do this, and if you do, please do like the video. It helps me out a lot, and I'd infinitely appreciate it. And seeing as my content is over, I wholeheartedly recommend to you that you check out somebody else listed here, because, well, what have you got to lose? A couple of minutes? You might find somebody you absolutely adore and end up watching more than me. So today, I recommend to you Tomato Gaming. He recently did a Yandere Simulator video, and that... That was beautifully perfect in every single goddamn fucking way, and I want you to go watch it. If you liked mine, you'll adore his. You have nothing to lose, and you may just gain more than you thought you could. And speaking of gaining things, if you want to add some bitching and whining and updates on videos into your Twitter feed, then, well, follow me on Twitter. I make dumb jokes, I have cat pictures, and you get to see my cynical self outside of videos. Whoa. But that aside, considering the nature of this game, and, uh, well, the amount of fun I had with it, and the variety of nonsensical shit there was with inside it, and the nonsensical shit that was within it, I find it pretty fitting that on the store page, when I was looking at it at least, there was a fishing simulator next to this game. Which is brilliant foreshadowing, because all you do is accuse people of being guilty. Oh, it's a fist joke. Oh, it's, it's a fist joke. Oh. You know what, you know what the best part is? <laughs> you know what? The, you know what? The, you know what the best part is? You can't. You can't tell people that they're that they're innocent. You can release them. But you, can't, you can't tell them that they're innocent. So the best part is you cannot tell them that they are acquitted. I tried to mix acquitted, acquitted, and aquatic in the same word. It doesn't quite work when you've got like every fucking vowel in the English language in one word. I'm gonna go now, and I don't know why I do this. Okay, this was a good game though. Definitely worth the money. This is. Oh, game!